Saw you down the motorway There was something about you that day I can still hear the shimmering sound The hill is near, let's get right up Walk up to the very top We couldn't tell the sky from the ground I know my life Good morning everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. It is Sunday the 2nd of October, which you'll probably be thinking if you'd watched my last video, I filmed that on the 1st of October, so I filmed two days of the weekend, which I don't normally do, but I had the opportunity, so I did it. Um, so it's called 10 to 7 in the morning and I just wanted to talk to you about the flask situation. So George and I are using a flask to save us using the kettle because here in the UK energy bills have like shot through the roof and everything is super expensive. So we've just learnt to adapt to little things and we recently, well we bought a flask from our local like Wilco's which is a bit like a Walmart I think or a, or a Target in the US but that only lasted a couple of weeks it didn't last very long not that it broke but it just stopped keeping our water hot however we have invested in the mother of all flasks a Stanley <laughs> this is Stanley now this one is a 1.9 litre um, flask. George has a lot of coffee during the day while he's at work. And when I'm off as well, I like we both like to drink hot beverages. We also use it to, if we're using the microwave tea to frozen veg or anything like that, we'll use it for that. But this, I've filled this at 10 to 7 in the morning. This will still be hot, providing we haven't used it all. This will still be hot tonight this evening i'm not joking it lasts all day it's so good i've boiled the kettle twice to fill it and if we use it if we use it all in the day then we'll have to obviously fill it up again but um i don't think it that happens very often actually i think we can make a whole flask last for the day um, but it's just amazing so if anyone is worried out there about like the cost of living or the energy crisis and things like that and you are looking for ways to save on energy then I will leave this Stanley flask linked below my uncle recommended it he's a farmer and he's out all day and he has hot drinks that last him all day long so he recommended this to me um, and it's the best investment it's about 40 pounds for the 1.9 liters um although no i think for the one liter it's 40 and then for the 1.9 it's 42 so for the extra two pounds we just went for the 1.9 but if you are interested then i'm not sponsored at all but i'm just here to help because it's really really helped us we just we only boil the kettle twice a day now if that so yeah um i love our stanley so let's carry on on our peaceful morning and make the mocha i've drunk my water make a mocha go upstairs and have a nice peaceful sunday morning
despite all, all you're my best friend. Hello, I'm back. I've had literally the whole morning of reading, journaling. Oh, it's just been great. I haven't even had breakfast yet. It's 10, five past 10. I last spoke to you at quarter to seven and I've just been reading, journaling, reading all the time. And I very rarely do that. And I very rarely have that time to do that so it was even more special today um i've also put a wash load on which was silly because i was going to do this video it's the autumnal bedding though so i'm so excited but i'm going to make some breakfast now because i am famished i'm going to have porridge and i'm gonna have i've got a banana that needs eating so i'm gonna have banana peanut butter and jam porridge and i cannot wait i'm so excited so i'm gonna do that have that and then after breakfast we're going to be making my lemon ginger and honey tonic that you will have seen in a previous video my ms fatigue video um i've had people ask me about it on instagram so i'm going to do a video of how i do it it's really easy really simple um, but it's just a little immune boosting type drink that George and I have from the end of September to the end of Feb, beginning of March. We have every year. We just have a shot of it every day and it's got really good healing properties like the lemon, the ginger, manuka honey. Um, and yeah, it's really good. Just a slight lie. I don't have any manuka honey at the moment. I just have regular honey, but I usually use manuka, um, but I haven't got any at the moment. So just a sub, substitute for that. Okay, let's make breakfast. I get a little bit breathless. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? Should have been honest It breaks in my heart It's weighing me down, baby I'm like a river that's overflowed The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt Let me speak the truth I know you don't want to face it You think it's too late But I can see past the rain my breakfast is ready. I have a coffee. That's my last... Well, I don't really class a mocha as a coffee. I know you should, but I don't. It's just kind of like my thing. But it's my black coffee. Um, I might have... I probably won't actually have another coffee today because it's nearly half past ten, so that'll probably be my only coffee for today. George and I are actually going to be doing some gardening work today in the garden. I've got some weeding. I want to cut the hedge all that fun stuff so yeah i'm gonna be doing that but what i'm gonna do first is go and eat my breakfast drink my coffee watch some youtube and whilst i'm doing that i'm going to pop you guys on charge and transfer this footage onto my laptop so i'll be back after breakfast hello everyone breakfast was so delicious i have also just freshened up the sofa bed because arthur was asleep on it so I've freshened that up. I am now <clears throat> going to head out and start to do some garden bits. Um, I've got to, mainly the front garden, I've got to weed that today. Also, we have a friend in our garden, like, but he's not a friend because I think he's being naughty. Can you see him, everyone? Don't know who this friend is. But he's looking for the baby sparrows or the birds that are in the hedge. Very naughty. Talking of hedge, I need to cut the hedge. We need to cut the hedge today as well. And we're going to do some more work on our 
woodshed so i will show you all of that and we will head out into the garden do some gardening and then once i've done that once i've probably done some weeding of the front garden whilst george is have eating his breakfast i shall show you all my lemon ginger and honey tonic which i need to have today i haven't had it yet so yeah i'm going to do that I'm also going to open this little window just to let a bit of air in yeah let's go outside let's have a little garden update shall we um <clears throat> i've got this new little baby just here that i planted and that i've got to clean this out today and refill it it's happening today 100% it's gross I know I know it's gross but this is the update we have going on here this is going to be our woodshed we're also going to have a guttering up here that will catch the rain water in our little water butt just here got some water in already cute um, then we'll be able to water the garden with this instead of using the hose the hose pipe which will be amazing so yeah so this is the woodshed it's really long and big it's amazing and this is going to store all our wood for our log burner and we're gonna crack on with this today me and little g gonna have a go finish finishing it but for now i've got my bucket i need to go into the shed and get gardening bits California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling making plans hiding behind Right please excuse the wind the traffic all that good stuff but this is what we're tackling with today I've got loads of weeds I need to get up also this is a marguerite bush that was tiny look at the size of it now right there's my foot it's huge I'm so proud of it. It's literally expanded. But yeah, I need to trim the hedge a bit. Um, and yeah, just basically sort it out. I need to cut this hedge, but uh, yeah, anyway, trim the bushes down. Let's get cracking on. No rain, no flowers. Nothing's growing where your heart is fire. But baby. I bet you're cold without me Even when it's 90 degrees Without me I bet that you can get any sleep In that bed lying away Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold There we go That looks like a pile of weeds but it's actually rose They're all rose plants these so so i don't need to do i mean that's a bit messy but there's only so much you can do right anyway come here glove come here but it looks so much neater the rose bushes will have room to breathe and grow all the weeds have been cleared my marguerite plant is amazing it's so big i've never seen anything like it but yeah so much better. Let's just sit back and have a look. Yep, one job in the garden, a success. Three bucket loads of weeds. The other part of the front garden, which is just there, I'm not touching that at the minute. Um, or I might. No. I'm not because I'm going to completely redo it so th next year so that's just going to stay a mess for now right and the front garden is sorted so it's the back garden which doesn't really need a lot doing the only thing I need to do out here is cut this hedge and that's it um try and get up some of those weeds down there and perhaps move the chairs from there to there just move it along a little bit but aside from that there really isn't much like weeding the only problem we have right in this garden the only problem is ivy like it's everywhere all down there look and it's just never ending and it just it just i mean look it's just you just can't get rid of it it's just 
ridiculous. So I'm going to try and do my best to get rid of most of this, but it's really hard to get rid of ivy. Um, gave this a little sort out yesterday. This has all had a little bit of a declutter. The raised beds are going to go here at some point soon. Clear that. Gross. Get Clear that. Don't look at it. Just clear it. And that's about it. And then it's building the woodshed with Gigi. Um, okay, so here we go. Here we have Mr. Avocado. Look at our avocado tree. Look how well she is doing. <gasps> so cute. I'm so happy with it. It's growing so well. Mrs. Avocado. Avocado. And this needs watering. This you may remember, recognise from the plant inside the house in the kitchen. So I've potted it in this one. I'm going to let it sit there. But all the strawberries need watering. So I'm going to, once I've cleaned that out, that out, the bed bath and refilled it, I'm going to put the strawberry plants in there to water, to get some water. Same with all these guys as well, but I'm just going to water these. Um, and yeah, yeah. My uh, geranium cutting that my Nana said was going to die. Um, Nana, I think you're wrong on this occasion. Um, oh yeah. Oh, the, uh, I cut that down. That was petunias and I've cut them right down. Let's see if they will come back next year. And then this is the little um, fuchsia that I rescued. Cute. Propagating nursery in here. Really happy with that. So, oh, I'm going to get rid of this. This was basil, but we're just not doing anything with it now, so that can go. And that's in this section of the garden. Cutting the hedge is the bane of my life. I really dislike doing it, but let's get the job you dislike doing the most done. Um, oh, my sunflower. So this has got a really funny story. This sunflower. Sweet. Um, it was just, I was feeding the birds in here and a sunflower seed dropped and fell down there and we have a sunflower. Random. <laughs> so sweet. But yeah, okay. I'm stalling. Let's go and cut the hedges, sort the ivy out. Ugh, let's just go crack on with it and get it done. Always shining bright But if the sky would open up You're staying home, you don't get out You always used to love the rain But LA changed you No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where your heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold Without me, even when it's 90 degrees Without me Bet that you can get it asleep in the bed, lying awake. Cause I'm not there beside you, keeping you warm and I know. I bet you're cold. You're so damn cold. I bet you're cold. You're so damn cold. Hello everyone, I have since got changed into just a t-shirt and some new joggers because it's actually quite warm outside today. So consider, well, it doesn't really feel like October, it feels more like August or September. <sighs> Arthi is outside and G is sorting out the woodshed and we've got washing hanging although one of the pillowcases is flipped over so I have to unflip that. But what we're going to do first is the lemon and ginger tonic. So, what you are going to need is the following. Th at least three lemons, if not four. I will use all of these lemons. In fact, actually, I'll probably use three and then just keep one in the fridge because lemon's good for everything. And at least 100, if not 200 grams of ginger. Um, I don't even know... I don't think I've got 100 grams this time because I forgot to pick it up and it was like last minute. Oh yeah, just about 100 grams. Okay, so at least 
100 if not 200 grams of ginger and what we're going to do is we're going to grate the ginger you can grate it with the skin on it doesn't matter because we're going to strain it so it's, it doesn't really matter if the skin is on or not uh, cut the lemons and put the juice into a large saucepan with boiling water pop it on the hob for about 20 minutes and we'll get on to the next step right so it's on the hob let it come to a boil and then simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes so it all just like soaks in you want your whole kitchen to smell of lemon and ginger so that's what i'm going to do for that and in the meantime i'm going to cook some rice and get ready for our lunch because we haven't had lunch yet and it is half past one so i'm going to make george and i some lunch while he's out there busy that fly needs to go so let's Oh my God, Arthur's in his house. Okay, let me go and show you Arthur in his house. So what you're gonna need for your next part, the um, mixture has finished boiling. This case now smells of lemon and ginger. It's been about 20 minutes, um, so, you're going to need a colander or a, what is this called? Like a strainer type thing. Uh, you're going to need one of these to strain it. And then a jug of some kind or a, or a bottle, whatever you have on hand. I'm using this jug here. You're then going to need, I use between 100 to 200 mils. I don't use 100 mils at all. That's ridiculous. I don't, I literally do not use 100 mil. Because 100 ml is like nothing. Okay, use about 200 mils. Let's just weigh it out so I can just show all of you. Two hundred mils of apple juice. This just makes it taste ever so slightly less hot, warm, should we say? And then at least two to five tablespoons of honey depending if you use manuka honey i usually use five tablespoons if it's normal honey i just use i just try and sweeten it i don't sweeten it too much but i do it so it doesn't taste horrendous but i'm gonna strain mine over the sink i would probably do that make sure you strain it like this over the sink because if you don't it'll just go down your plug hole um, I wouldn't advise trying to scoop it out from the sink because it just gets messy. I'm also going to use a um, soup scoop. You know one of these. A ladle. I'm going to use a ladle to scoop it out of the pan into here, into the jug. So, yeah, let me just set, see if I can set you up here. I don't think you're going to be able to see me do it, so I'm just going to do it. But, yeah... A ladle, a strainer thing, and a jug of some description. If you don't, yeah, a jug is probably going to be the best bet for you, so I would use that. So I'm going to do that. All right, so this is what you're left with. So this is when you've strained it all. They are all the lemons and ginger all over there. So you should have no bits. So that's really great. So then what I do is I then top it up with apple juice and give it a stir now i let this cool completely before i put it in the fridge you can you could heat it up on the on the stove and have it and add or add boiling water to it so you've got like a nice drink to have that's quite nice um at the moment we just have it as a shot i haven't tried it if i have it warm it just reminds me of when i'm ill and i have lemon and honey tea but when i have this it just it's so good and like it's probably placebo, I don't know, but since having this for the last two years, touch wood, I haven't been ill. So this is really good. It's just packed with ginger, lemon and really good things to help your body, I believe, I think. so. But that is just my opinion. I'm going to now add probably two to three tablespoons of honey and give it a good mix. Let it cool completely and pop it in the fridge. And in the meantime... I'm going to continue cooking mine and George's rice.
Hello. Oh, what did you all think to the autumnal bedroom? George was slightly horrified to which I reassured him that the decorations were going back downstairs and it was just for the, you know, for you guys, for the ambiance of autumn. I am drinking a cup of Earl Grey tea decaf and it is just so nice, so nice. And I'm now going to sit on the sofa bed with all my cushions and blankets, edit this video and then go grab a bath, wash my hair. Sit downstairs with George and probably watch another episode of Daredevil. But, oh, I've had a very full day today, but it's been a very good day. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me as well. And I really hope you are enjoying my videos. If you are, then I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up, because that always means the world to me and shows me that you are enjoying my videos. And if you are new to my YouTube channel and this is the first video that you're seeing, I would really, really love it if you'd subscribe. I'm working to get 700 subscribers, so it'd mean the world to me if you did subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I can't wait to see you all next Sunday. Bye.